How much faster have bikes gotten in the last 40 years? Travis Verhoff here with Silka took us into the wind tunnel ARC in Indianapolis to find out. We tested three bikes, a Jeton Profil from 1982, a Greg LeMond TVT from 92, and then a Cervelo 2022. What did we find? Shocker, bikes got a lot faster. <laughs> but how much faster? We measured in a few different ways, or I should say the, the good folks at the wind tunnel measured a few different ways. I've got the notes on my phone. We measured at 30 miles an hour, yep. roughly 48 kilometers an hour, which is the speed that the crazy heads in the World Tour did Milan San Remo this year in, like 47 kilometers an hour and change, which is bonkers. So here's some numbers coming at you. Measured in grams of drag, this 1982 steel bike with a bit of aero profiling. I didn't know there was aero steel back in the 80s. 1,098. Le Mans, 1,283, which jumped up. And Le Mans was kind of cheating. How is Le Mans cheating here? Le Mans didn't even have pedals Le on Le Mans it. didn't even have pedals. Come on, Le Mans. They're all 56 bikes with relatively period appropriate pieces. So for instance, tars got substantially wider. So bikes got yep. more got faster, more aero, lighter, and much better rolling resistance. We didn't measure that, but just we could kind of ballpark it, right? Like yeah. these guys were a 20... 20 mil tubular. Yeah. Up to 21. a... 21. 21 and 20... Or what, what was it? 30, 30... 32 and a half? Th yeah. Something like that? Yeah. So bigger frontal profile and still getting, getting faster. There's lots of different ways you can calculate what fast is, what fast looks like. I've been scratching my head asking the smart people, hey, how, what does this actually mean in terms of speed? So in watts, we're going from 144, jumped up to 169, and then jumped down to the superbike, 123 watts, which we were roughly calculating at two seconds a kilometer faster it's from- a, It's about right. From the 80s to the present day. 2K, two seconds of K, half a mile an hour faster. Mm -hmm. Over an hour, it's a minute faster. And and that's- Just from the aero drag. Yeah, just from aero drag, yeah. flat road, excluding weight and rolling resistance. We're just, just looking at drag. So a big, big jump up. A, a big jump. What else did you <clears throat> enjoy looking at these bikes? What's, what's changed? Weight has changed. 20, 19. 18 pounds and I think I think the big one really is the tires right you're the the whole narrow is arrow is a you know it's a saying for a reason the the profil really really narrow including a 20 mil tubular yeah that's gonna roll a whole lot slower than their 30 32 33 mil tires so um, not only are we saving what was it 20 watts between the two Cervelo and the 82 yeah but you're also probably getting close to that on uh, on rolling resistance so the, uh, the bikes are getting a whole lot faster from back in the day. Yeah. The, I'm digging the brakes. We got like the caliper tucked behind the wee little fork here. Yep. And we've got, you know, Campy's Delta on the Le Monde. I, Those are collector's items at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The profile actually had like airplane tubing. They had to go to the aerospace industry to even find something that had some aero profiling they were buying like small small airplane tubing to put on that bike so um gearing has changed quite a bit not just in the gear ratios and the size of the cogs chain rings but obviously the shifting mechanism you don't have to worry about your battery dying on this bad boy so 4218 is your uh, smallest gear 4218 yeah climb out the wes on that <laughs> And Bernardino won in five stages on that bike in the tour. And this is 53, 42, 46, 33, with a substantially bigger cassette. Yeah, rear mounted First brake. First I've yeah. heard of the rear mounted brake behind the fork. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really ahead of its time. It took a big step back trying to go to the weight route. Yeah, um, yeah. And this bike even has the... Uh, kind of funky handlebars to get into an aero shape but i think that was a big a big reason for the increased drag so yeah yeah just added more <laughs> yeah more massive bike well that was a treat thanks for taking us into the tunnel with that yeah absolutely
a lot of fun. We got more wind tunnel videos you should check out up here and in the description down below. Thanks for watching.